a lot of mud, sweat, and cheers signaled flow of the ruptured sewer main on 62nd Avenue North in St. Petersburg had been stopped. Pinellas County crews worked nonstop since the break was first reported late Saturday night. We put in two line stop valves uh, that had bypass connected and we went under the street with the bypass, um, which diverted the flow so the county never lost service to any of our lift stations. All the customers remained in service at all times. And everything that could be done to keep the wastewater from reaching nearby Joe's Creek was done, including bringing in vector trucks to vacuum up the wastewater flow. The problem was a hairline crack in the 40-plus-year-old pipe. It's been in the ground a long time, and the materials fail. And it's just this, we hope it's just this one length of pipe, and you got one bad piece of pipe out of the whole line. Uh, but over time, things fail. Water quality tests were suspended for northern Boca Ciega Bay and Long Bayou after the Department of Environmental Protection gave the all clear for those water bodies on October 3rd. Pinellas County water quality officials continue to monitor Joe's Creek and Cross Bayou. We we'll take samples upstream and downstream from where the line break occurred and we'll put the samples on ice, bring them back to our laboratory, they'll do analysis. The results will come on to us, we'll send them out to DEP and they'll get, make the determination whether we continue sampling or salt. Crews have replaced the damaged pipe and are restoring the properties and right-of-way that were affected by the rupture and repair work. The county crews work great. We work with night and day. And even though it took as long as it did, we got it done. From St. Petersburg, I'm Libby Bowling, Inside Pinellas.